have to send an email asking for people to opt back in if they have already done business with you prior to 25th of May or if they've opted into your emails or newsletters. True, uh, true or false? So what do you say, Nick? I think they're asking a few different things here. Yeah. So first of all, um, if you're relying on consent, if that is your uh, condition for processing, then you don't have to ask for consent again if the consent you already have is valid for GDPR. So you do not have to email your entire list asking them to reconsent before 25th yeah. of May if you the consent you already had is valid. So mm -hmm. first of all, check the consent you have is valid anyway. Most likely, consent you got recently in the last few years is probably going to be valid. Yeah. You know, check what GDPR says about it, but it says it has to be specific, it has to be granular, and best practice for quite a while has been that you get consent in that way. Um, if you bundled up consent with, you know, uh, click here to to consent to every marketing that we want to throw at you, yeah. and it's all bundled up together in one t tick box, then then no, that's not going to be valid. Um, but there's a good reason that shouldn't be valid is because that's not a very good way to, to get consent. Um, so first of all, check if it's valid. If it's not valid and you want to get people to re-consent, uh, and you think consent is the best way to hold that information, then you can go back to them to ask them for new consent. But I think what the person is asking here is if if you've already done business with them prior to 25th of May. So that maybe takes us back to our earlier point about marketing to existing customers. Yeah, That's something that can really be done under legitimate interests. Um, so you may want to, to review the conditions you've got. This is something I, I think is really a, a prevail, very, very prevalent myth in all of the GDPR stuff that's going on is that people just assume consent is the only way yeah. to go and it yeah. really isn't we had some interesting questions in the last webinar about um, you know someone saying that they were only getting uh, emails to reconsent from small businesses mm. they're asking why do large organizations why are they not asking me to reconsent do they know something we don't and it's yeah. not that bigger organizations know something everyone else doesn't it's just that they understand that there are other conditions you rely on and perhaps they have more resources to, to move people to legitimate interests to, to do that work that's required um, to, to justify yeah. doing something with legitimate interest. So it may be worth um, checking a, a legitimate interest before you have to get new consent from everybody. So we're going to be covering this in a bit more detail in the next session about, about Mythbusters but um, you know, all of these emails that we've been getting over the last uh, week it's you know, yeah. increasing exponentially every single day up until yeah probably midnight tonight you're saying they're not they're not all necessary to opt in again they're, they're really not and that's there was an article i think just the other day in the guardian saying that often it's illegal you know you're you're remarketing to yeah. people to ask them to to continue to market to them um and, and it's not necessarily and trying to get it in before the deadline yeah and, and the deadline it's not it's not uh it's not really the way that i think it's being presented um by a lot of companies it's not that you have to to rush to get everything done i get keep getting emails in, in my inbox as i'm sure everyone is saying you know we will lose you after the 25th don't you know leave yeah. us don't go from us and these sorts of like pleading uh, uh arguments to or pleading requests to to get people to to open your email to click a box it's clever marketing checks but i don't think it's really necessarily gdpr uh consistent but it's not even just marketing I heard of somebody who has a, uh, a service agreement for their car mm -hmm. who was told by the garage who services their car we can't communicate with you after the 25th of May even though he's a customer of theirs right. and has been for many years um, so there, there are businesses out there that are potentially destroying their, their client yeah, for, lists their marketing lists by no not reason. understanding and there may the be conditions. there's also it could be a problem after 25th of May it's something that I think that they that I'm seeing little bits and pieces of that uh, GDPR is meant to put the power in the hands of the customer yeah. but after 25th of May customers may find it harder to get in touch with an organization or, yeah. or get their data or get a uh, something back from an organization they're contacting with because the organization is so afraid of GDPR when actually they, they don't need to be. So GDPR is not about making it harder for the customer to contact yeah. the, the organization or get the kind of information that they want to get.